the first part, it's divided in three parts, this exhibition. And it's called From Tradition, the early years, beginnings of Galician painting and Galician still life. So, in the first one, it's a work by Alfredo Santi, it's a renowned Galician painter. We have an ochre and green palette and a distribution of horizontal and vertical lines. There is a lot of detail in the way the vase and also the flowers are depicted, which contrasts strikingly with the colour of the flowers of Mosquera, the second painting. Also, human presence is noticeable because the book has been left exactly in the page in which the reader, we assume there is a reader, was reading. That makes a difference between the early years, 1908, and 10 years later, an innovation with a basic style. We still remain in the same topic of flowers. The innovation in this case is the presence of a curtain that envelops the image, <coughs> gives it some context, but also the mirror that appears in the background. And the mirror allows us to see part of the room, which would not be possible if that wasn't there. Another innovation is that the flowers are already withering, especially the ones on the table. And that brings us to the topic of the Baroque topic of the Vitas, <coughs> related also to the Carpe Diem, which tells to the viewer or to the observer, grasp life, live it now, because it fades and it fades quite fast from the early 20th century. In this case, we have plenty of elements inside the picture, and they are framed by curtains and windows as well as the table. We see, for example, flowers in a vertical distribution. We see a bowl of grapes. We see also a bowl of sugar and a teapot illuminated by light coming from the window. Thus, the title of this particular painting. There is also, peculiarly, a yellow box with toothpicks in it. And uh, the innovative character is introduced by well, the presence of a hint of cubism already there. They say that when the table is uh, eliminated from the background, but when it starts to fade, the concentration, the main focus, stands on the objects, such as the flowers, pick the ones. It contains a diversity of color and three main elements. The fried fish on a plate, standing on a table, the rock in front of the woman, and the woman. That combines a portrait and a still life. The vision is clear. And the painter also abandons perspective and the laws of gravity. That is why this is remarkable. The first one by Jorge Castillo, disciple of García Boy. And they couldn't be more different. The first one is geometric and it contains the classical elements in a classical disposition with dark colors. And the palette is almost sad. That is in complete contrast with the other by Castillo, whose evolution, especially after his visit and after living for a long period of time in Latin America, includes lively colors, such as this very remarkable use of yellow everywhere in the painting, and the progressive abandonment of the laws of gravity. Look at the legs of the table, they are birds. Are those birds alive? Are they inanimate? Are they real? That's the kind of honorism that we had previously seen in the Greece. We have reached the Sive, another Galician artist. And in this case, we could ask ourselves, where is the still life? Where is it to be found? Apparently, there is only a black square, some brush strokes, a play on textures, and even the sensation of the feeling of violence in the painting. And we could criticize the painting as being disorganized or lacking in any kind of structure. But on the contrary, this is well thought out and requires some planning and some distribution of the objects, even if they are not present visibly and explicitly. The lemon basket, and it clearly stands as a still life with the basic element. The natural fruits and the artificial and man-made baskets. However, it also includes two pairs, which contradicts, in a way, the rest of the title. Then, the foreground contains the basic elements and the fruit, and the background is to a certain point irrelevant because it's only there to give depth to the composition. Apart from that, it's a combination of two different kinds of brush strokes. The very precise one that is employed in the basket and the lemon, and the longer ones in the background and the table. Now comes the question, could we say this is still life yet? This is a photography by Manuel Villarino who was awarded in 2007 the National Photography Award. 
for his recreation of small scenes and the creation of small worlds. This fits with the rest of the exhibition because it contains some basic elements and symbolic meanings. For example, the ritual of death that uh, is combined with the red dust that has accumulated in the top of the picture and the beetles and the crosses that are repeated once and once again. Then is photography also the modern still life? That's the question that remains to be answered. In the early 20th century, photography is introduced in everyday life. So painters stop being realists because there is another instrument that depicts reality to go on to modify perspective and introduce innovation by means of altering and manipulating geometry. In the first painting by Luis Sioani, we have delicate brush strokes and fine profiles where cheese and another vegetable is depicted. The vegetable is called pumpkin, but as uh, Sioani lived in Argentina for many years and was born there, he uses another word. And this distinction also exists in English. We can call it pumpkin, or we can call it squash, as it is referred to in Latin American countries. It's only a slice, but it's a very prominent in the composition, because the table is forgotten, it's only depicted by some lines, and it's different brush strokes. The second one, however, introduces the distinction of the dark red line, separating the different planes and the different profiles in the painting. It only contains two elements, the onions and the artificial man-made ceramic jar. We will see how this abstract and almost cubist perspective will be repeated in the next case. The painting is divided into tiny, differently coloured squares in a process that is called deconstruction. The table, the round table, as the, ta as the painting is entitled, may recall Arthurian legends and folk tales again, but in fact, the perspective is lost, the use of different colours is already quite disorientating, and uh, as a conclusion we could say that the still life is not there anymore. We can see the elements clearly depicted with dark lines or profiles or long brush strokes. It's completely different. It's not realist, it's expressionistic, and it's the Paris school in the important anymore, whether there is a draft of the elements or whether the elements are even in the picture. But how textures are combined and how the colours are modified and given a new a completely new dimension. This is revisited in other paintings by Garcia Cristo because um, he abandons the traditional use of oils or watercolors or even brush and uh, takes a pen and delineates on uh, the previous composition what he intends to show his viewers. In this case, probably a bar or simply a bottle and some cups. A repetition of the same topic that we had seen in the tradition, that is the bars with flowers, and the difference here is that the delineation is not so clear. We have the bars in grey colour and the range varies from grey, dark to blue, light. The flowers use a very soft brush stroke and it creates a calm, intimate atmosphere. But in both cases, especially in the second one where the bottles by Rivet includes uh, same colour, geometric perfection, highly detailed and polished bottles and another one that is the portrait in the background, which can barely be seen because it's in the background itself, but invites the viewer to imagine and to become intuitive about the contents and the symbolism of the paper. The first one is by Polo Klaff, another Galician artist, contemporary, with his work from 2007. It depicts a metallic bottle of milk, a jar that it contains, and the milk depicted by a mirror. The important thing about this piece that sculpture is no longer something that has to be elevated to be observed. It's not something that observes the viewer rather than the other way around. It's put on the floor for the viewer to observe from a different side, from a different point of view and a divergent perspective. And the last one is right here in front of us. The accusation that was directed to contemporary artists was that they had forgotten how to draw. And that's a complete contradiction <coughs> in light of this depiction of a quince, another typical Galician fruit that is taken as a dessert, for example, when it's boiled and sugared. But even more important is the large size of this painting and its division in two different halves. On the right hand side, we have an almost analytic observation 
of the inside of the fruit and the outside of the fruit. The way it's peeled and the way it's cut. And to the other side, something more abstract and more symbolic. We go to the heart of the question, showing the heart of the fruit, and inviting the viewer and the observer to become intuitive again and say, what does it mean to you? That's the question I'm launching. He's an artist from Lugo and he has an exhibition going on, inaugurated last week, with 99 pieces, so it's a complete retrospective of his recent production. This is the last point of our visit today, and the last stage in the evolution of the still life. At the beginning we had seen a pure combination of simple elements, then we moved on to the abandonment progressively of geometry, of realism, of rules and of order. And in this case we see that the vase with flowers has forgotten about the vase, has forgotten about the flowers, about the background, about the foreground. And it's only a bunch of petals, a bunch of vegetal remains and uh, an innovation that would probably continue contemporary art in an absolutely different direction from the abstract work, from the vanguard, and from the initial apparently monotonous and repetitive genre of the still life. Ahora tenemos cuatro colores. ¿Algo que decir? Porque nos estoy Oye, grabando. Esto está divino, ¿vale? Está divino, no lo niego, ¿eh? Está hermoso, divino, está de todo, ¿eh? Esas cerezas. Me encanta. Yo soy fan de esa naranja. Con los ojos. ¿Qué es eso? Contadme, ¿qué estás haciendo? Me encanta. Es la flor de la vida. 
y, y tiene ojitos. Me parece maravilloso. ¿Y, que, ¿Y vais a usar rojo o está ahí por estar? ¿Cómo? Hay un bote de rojo, ¿lo vais a usar o está ahí por estar? Sí, 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 lo vamos a usar, pero esto lo dejaremos para el final. Para <risa> Volveré en un ratito a ver qué tenéis. Contadme, ¿qué estáis haciendo? Esto es una tarta. A ver, dejadme, dejadme ver ahí la, la, belleza, la preciosidad. Me encanta esa flor de ahí de la esquinita. ¿Verdad? La está pintando ahora. Es, es muy bonita. Linda. Ahí hay linda. una vela también con sí, un es un par. Me encanta. Invención mía. Es, es tu cumple, ¿verdad? Es maravill... No, no es mi cumple. Mi cumple es. Pues estamos haciendo cosas. Estamos cogiendo la pintura y la estamos vertiendo. Entonces, con nuestras manos y nuestro gesto y el movimiento y el ritmo, se lo damos. Me parece correcto. La, la obra cobra vida. <risa> Me parece correcto. Me parece estupendo. Es brillante. Es un mango artístico. Es <risa> mango artístico. Tienen que volver las cosas. Tomen nota. Mango artístico. 5 millones. ¿Cómo mira? <risa> seguir documentando vuestro trabajo. Silvia, ¿sabías que vas a decir que corno? Y lo sabes. ¿Qué corno? Bueno, aquí... ¿Sabes por qué me gusta este cuadro? Cuéntanos, Silvia. Porque me recuerda a los cuadros que hacía cuando tenía tres años. ¿Eh? O sea, tres años, lo único que querías era mancharte las manos, la cara la... y, y buscarle la vida a tus padres para que tenían que lavarte todas las manos. Es que ella le, qui le quiere matar a todo el mundo, mira, está poniendo sangre a todo. Es una niña que aprovechar. Bueno, me mejor eso que lo que había antes que parecía un montón de sangre. A ver. Yo creo que va a ser el más bonito de todos. Yo creo que deberíamos venderlo por... ¿Cuántos millones? Vale, chicos, os he, encontrado, os he encontrado rojo. ¿Qué pasa? Que lo están usando en otra mesa, así que no os puedo traer el rojo. Luego os traigo el rojo. A ver, me... ¡Uh, que me mato! Me encanta ese pez. ¿De qué color le vas a poner los ojos? Están bien así, déjalo en blanco. ¿Le vas a poner un ojo? ¿Le ponemos un ojo en la cosa? ¿Le puedo poner un ojo en la calabaza? Hay un ojo, hay que poner un ojo. ¿Puedo ponerlo ahí en la calabaza? Pónselo, Yoli, tú puedes. Yo documentaré tu trabajo. Falta algo más por aquí. Venga. Esa es la mejor vela de cumpleaños del mundo. ¿Tiene una cara sonriente o algo? Me lo parece a mí. Parece, eh, parece que este boca y estos son los únicos. Sí, por eso es lo que digo. Vaya, 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 vaya
sacando fotos, estoy grabando. Vamos a petarte algo. Creo que es la tercera vez que os vengo a grabar por aquí, ¿eh? Sí. Nuestro mensaje para la posteridad. No, pone una cara que guay. Es que no, no está pegado. Pues pone un trozo de pintura. Hacedlo un parche de pirata. Es que creo que eso tiene para pegarse. de la foto y ahora es cuando voy a hacer un que me pierde. Grabar marcha atrás es difícil. <risa> que no te atropellen. <risa> y peligroso. Bueno, ¿Y qué opináis de Trindamer? <risa> Trindamer está roto. Obviamente. Roto. Niana, 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 niana. Broken champ, como dice el, el Jackie. We have to go more fast. More fast. <risa> to arrive to school. <risa> ¿De qué estáis hablando? De LOL, bueno no, de cosas aleatorias, cuéntanos Marta ¿Qué fue del Minecraft? No lo sé Hello everyone We are segundo bachillerato D and we have a message for you Ay Dios mío Cada lo tiene nada que añadir ¿Verdad? Tengo y eso, amigos, es la cara de la tristeza. Esa es la cara de la tristeza, amigos míos. La cara de la tristeza. Yo no he comido. Yo no he comido. Hola, tortilla. Hola, tortilla. Hola, hola, bebé. Super consejito del día. Don't you worry, be happy. Siempre felices. Pero dramas around the world. Chicas, estoy haciendo un vlog porque me aburro y eso, ¿algo que añadir? Oye, ¿Del día o de vuestra vida? Chicos, 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 chicos. Es la naranja pirata. Gemas de cristal. Steven Universe. Pues seguiré grabando. Esto va a acabar todo en YouTube y eh, eh, Tomás se va a sacar el partner a nuestra costa. Porque lo que va a durar este vídeo, venga. No, seguro que lo va a poner toda cámara rápida. Sí que lo pone y no lo borra porque está todo en castellano. Ya, tío. Like. Hola, os estoy grabando. ¿Por qué? Tú eres como yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Por eso yo grabo, para que nadie me grabe. Exacto. Es que no puta madre. Se está quemando. Se está quemando. Es un hombre solo. Que nos espera. Y está la caputo ama allí. Porque puede. El hombre solitario. Próximamente en cine. Me encanta porque siempre pilla el momento en el que Karen pone caras. Karen siempre pone caras. Tengo una foto en la que estábamos comiendo en el parque y Karen estaba con la pizza y estaba como... Y tengo la foto perfecta ahí. Es un momento de placer de Karen. Creo que me vamos a despedir con Karen comiendo. Porque ya no sé más qué decir. Adiós.